Yo guys, what's up? Tyler the Melon Dragon. <clears throat> uh, this is just going to be like a different kind of video from what I uh, usually do. Um, I wanted to talk about one of my all-time favorite comic book characters, uh, the Max. As you can see right here, um, the Max is a, a comic book character from the 90s, created by Sam Keefe, uh, who's a comic book writer and uh, illustrator and all that. Yeah, um... I I didn't grow up with this character since, like, I was born in, like, mid to late 2000s. So, yeah, this is, like, beyond my time. But, like, the reason I give a shit about it so much is because, like, I really got into the Max through, like, just randomly scrolling through watch cartoons online one day. And I was fucking bored. And then I saw the Max. And I remember a few years ago watching uh, Mars Reviews uh, video on um, old MTV cartoons. He did this like whole retrospective and he was talking about the Max cartoon briefly. And that it was like a seed planted in my mind that was just like waiting to like bloom years later. And then it kind of just did. It's fucking weird. Anyway, I watched the cartoon and I just immediately like just hooked on the setting, man. It's just this dark, gritty fucking setting. And this, this, the Max isn't like a typical superhero, he's literally just a homeless guy in a goofy costume and he can't take it off because it just, it, it gets complicated. And like, he basically, he's basically like mentally challenged and shit. He tries to do good, but really he always ends up just hurting himself and just fucks it up. Uh, the series mostly, mostly revolves around him and, uh, this other character called Julia Winters. She's a freelance social worker. Uh, she always seems to bail the max out of prison uh, the Max doesn't hurt anybody or anything, he just, you know, tries to attack Fogs or some shit, which results in the Max getting into more trouble, so, like, she usually bails him out. And, uh, there's also this other character, which is my absolute favorite in the series, called Mr. Gorn. He is this crazy psychopath murderer who, um, yeah, he commits murders and shit, but it's fucking weird at the same time, he's a contradiction, because he does horrible things for the right reasons where he wants to help julie winters out with her mental issues because she's got a lot of repressed issues and deep inside that she doesn't want to like deal with right which is manifested into this like place called the outback which is just trying to explain this series is like gonna take me fucking forever so i'll just try to keep it brief if you're interested i highly recommend you check it out it's one of my all-time favorite comics like ever like i fucking love the max and it's a damn shame that I probably won't be able to see this character ever again in any new media, like, but in a sad way, though, I think that's probably for the best. A good character like this deserves a good rest. Everything needs to come to an end eventually, and I feel like a lot of popular cartoon characters and stuff really outstay their welcome to the point where they're unrecognizable for what they used to be, And but the Max, I think, has a good luxury of, like, getting to be who he really is without overstaying his welcome, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But it really it would be really great to see him back again in some form. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, like, if you guys are interested, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, go to fucking watchcartoons.com. Um, uh, just note, I do not promote, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't promote that. I'm not going to say what it is, but... Uh, you know, no, no pirate business. <laughs> you do, you, you know, you do with your own peril, but like, trust me, like it, the show, uh, the max is worth it. It aired on MTV in the nineties. Um, yeah, this is like unscripted. Like most of my vids are, and uh, I'm not exactly good with like wording shit, but, uh, I just, I hope I did a decent job, you know, talking about it because, um, I, I really love this character, man. He's fucking great. Um, and, um, yeah. If anything, if nobody's going to make more Max comics, then I guess I'll have to make some videos about this big purple guy. Anyway, I've been Tyler the Melon Dragon, and uh, have a good night.